life on Mars isn't just fictional. Did you, as a kid, ever dream of driving a flying car or residing on Mars? I know you did, because I was there before. We all dream of undoable things when we're little. But is residing on Mars really impossible? Turns out it's not. At least not certainly, according to talented and dedicated scientists. After decades of ambitious and curious exploration, they found out that there are indeed signs that reveal the possibility of life on Mars. Grab your popcorn, for they are as intriguing as the Martian. 1. Rivers seem to have flowed on Mars While there are various ingredients required to form life, most scientists have agreed to conduct the search for life on Mars, with water as the starting point. Looking at it now, the nearest neighbors to our planet Earth seem to be nothing more than just a wasteland. All that's observable right now is a dry, barren surface. Water, which is fundamental for terrestrial life, is only present in unreachable polar ice caps. But there is quite convincing evidence that it was once not the case. The first piece of evidence came in 2000, when NASA's Mars Global Surveyor captured photos of various gullies on the desolate land. Scientists believe these gullies were formed by flowing water. Over time, more and more curved and branched channels have been found in images collected by Mars spacecraft, further suggesting that water once covered at least part of the now barren surface. An ancient ocean, according to scientists' estimation, could cover up to 19% of the entire surface of Mars. For your information, the Atlantic Ocean currently covers 17% of that on our Earth. So, there's a possibility that in the beginning days, Mars even had more water than our home planet. But that's not all. Accessible water might not just be the story of the past. It may be an ongoing thing, just not in the form of oceans, rivers, or lakes, those that we're familiar with. Researchers have gathered a few pieces of evidence that there is water hiding underneath the red surface. If that's true, it presents the red planet an even better condition to protect life forms from the harsh radiation that easily pierces through the thin atmosphere. There may be life on Mars, it just happens underground. After all, just because we can't see something doesn't mean it's not there, right? 2. Organics that support life on Earth are found on Mars Well, if you've survived the chemistry class in high school and decided to refresh your brain, here's a little information. All forms of life start from carbon. To be a little more precise, all forms of life on Earth. After nearly a decade of non-stop work, Curiosity rover, which touched the soul of the red planet on August the 6th, 2012, collected a significant number of rock samples that were later sent to SAM Chemistry Lab for closer scrutiny. In many of those samples, researchers were able to detect carbon-containing molecules, the essential building blocks of life on Earth. The discovery of compounds that contain carbon-12 might be the key to unveil the mist of whether life used to be or could be possible on Mars. But why so? Well, carbon-12 is known for its absolute necessity in metabolic processes of organisms present on Earth. In similar terms, not a single plant or animal on this planet could exist without carbon-12. Life would simply be non-existent. So, the presence of carbon-12 in rock samples from various locations within the Gale Crater suggests that there used to be, or could be, life on the Red Planet. Someday, we might be able to travel to Mars for vacation, or even relocate there. Isn't that amazing? What's more, while human visitors to Mars might be a story of the future, visitors from Mars are not just imaginary, they're real. For billions of years, our Earth has been the landing sign of quite a few visitors from Mars. Our nearest solar neighbor has been kind enough to send us gifts in the form of meteorites. These rocks seem to reveal a lot of secrets. Three out of 34 meteorites in the hands of scientists have the potential to carry evidence of past life on Mars, which is the organic materials mentioned before. Three. We're all Martians without knowing. 
As Mars has sent Earth meteorites as presents, some of the researchers have suggested a possibility of contamination early in the history of life. We have found tiny organisms in Martian giant rocks. So, why couldn't that be the source of life on Earth? In simple words, it's possible that we humans are the upgraded versions of little life forms that originated on Mars. So, instead of Earthlings, we're indeed Martians. Absolutely insane. But it could be true. And you know what? That's not even the whole mind-boggling thing. Mars isn't our Earth's only neighbor in the solar system. So, if it could send life to Earth, why couldn't other planets do the same? In fact, even debris from outside the solar system could have spawned life on Earth. At least, that's what some mad scientists believe. Guys, imagine! In movies, we've always portrayed the Martians as being irregular shapes. But what if they look exactly like us, with two eyes, two ears, a nose, a mouth, and four limbs? What if there is a whole society of Martians living under the red surface, and their technology is so advanced that they have never failed to hide themselves from us? What if some of them have been walking among us, and we are completely unaware? Just wow! Other thoughts are that Mars may have been even wetter than Earth, and we could indeed be the Martians jaw-dropping. I don't want to spoil the party I invited you to, but don't get too excited. While all those aforementioned things sound amazing, life on Mars isn't a certainty. First, whether the reoccurring slope linear of the ramification of running water or sand is still a topic of debate. Secondly, carbon-12 is known for its role in forming life on Earth, but we know too little about the condition of Mars to say that it is also the case on the red planet. Finally, while meteorites from Mars could carry organisms, scientists do not have a firm belief that they could survive the freezing, airless, radiation-filled vacuum. More data needs to be collected, and more analysis must be done before we finally figure out whether life on Mars is possible, and whether we're indeed Martians or not. Okay, that's about all. Now, you can keep dreaming of living on Mars someday, or start scrutinizing your friends and families to see if there are any Martian imposters. Which one are you going to do? And do you have some other plan? How about showing kids this video to plant the seeds of curiosity in their heads? Share with us what you're about to do in the comments below. We're so excited to know what's on your mind. And don't forget to like this video to support our dedicated team. Subscribe to our channel and hit the bell button right here so you won't miss our latest videos on science and mysteries.